The battle for Pandaria rages on. This war could tear Azeroth apart. Is there such a thing as a righteous war? These Pandaren question everything. It makes you think. Welcome back, hero of the Alliance. How fares the battle along the coast? Have you killed him? Bloodhilt served the Horde in Southern Barrens. You've avenged a great many lives today, champion. Welcome back, champion of the Horde. How fares the battle along the coast? So, General Twinbraid is dead. He was a pivotal figure in the Alliance push through Southern Barrens. Impressive work. The High King, Varian Rin, leader of the Alliance. Did you know he was once a gladiator? Oh yes, I've been doing my research. Suffering from amnesia, he fought for his life in Horde arenas. There, he earned the name Logosh, or Ghost Wolf. He is a fighter. But is he a leader? Think about it. His enemies took advantage of my father's cataclysm. Horde soldiers thundered across the realm in the wake of the devastation. Varian Rin didn't use the disaster to gain military advantage. Is this because he is weak or because he is principled? Here's the bigger question. Can principles win a war? Make no mistake, Pandaria will challenge your king. Let us see what he is truly made of. Let us see if your alliance has what it takes to rule Azeroth. Garrosh Hellscream. War chief of the Horde. He did not always command such power. On Draenor, he was a miserable wretch. The actions of his father hung heavy on his heart. I understand you, Garrosh. I know what it is like to bear the weight of your father's deeds. A warrior like Garrosh comes to power with something to prove. Your Horde finds itself at a turning point. This war will define you. What is the Horde? Is it an instrument of vengeance, hell-bent to carve out a future for its people? Is it a refuge for those who need shelter, a commonwealth of the downtrodden, built for mutual support? Or is it an alliance of convenience, a confederacy of unlikely partners free to pursue their own agendas? This is my question to you. What is the soul? of the Horde. We will find the answers here in Pandaria. Show me what your Horde is made of, champion. Prove to me that your Horde is worthy of ruling over Azeroth. You have proven to be an exemplary hero, a champion for your cause. Do you recall our earlier conversation? We discussed the merits of your High King. I have been observing him closely. It is true. He has the spirit of the wolf. And he fights like a wolf. Having seen him in action, I now know what that means. Wolves are pack animals. Your king is calling his pack to him, assembling an alliance in the truest sense of the word. His journey is long. He has only taken the first steps, but with heroes like you in his pack, there is little your alliance cannot accomplish. Tong, fetch my things. Your dedication to your cause deserves to be rewarded. Like you, I continue to refine my skills here in Pandaria. I think you will appreciate the outcome. Choose your reward. Stay vigilant, hero. The return of the Thunder King is both a threat and an opportunity. You have proven to be an exemplary hero, a champion for your cause. Do you recall our earlier conversation? We spoke of your war chief, his inner conflicts and his outer conquests. I asked you, who is the soul of the Horde? Your efforts on Pandaria's southern shores and elsewhere have given me my answer. You are the soul of the Horde. Your actions in the coming weeks will come to define your people. I want to make sure that you are properly equipped for the trials ahead. Tong, something to eat, please. 